We head inside the ring, and we welcome in once again Jolene Lebsack, who will get things started. The referee is Len Cuevisto. Come on in here. Okay, guys, professional contest. Respect the rules. Follow my instructions. And above all else, you must actively protect yourself at all times. Touch them up now and come out ready to fight at the bell. Good luck. So with a three-inch height advantage, Mike Hoffer moves to his corner, the black corner. As he said, he's wearing the board shorts. And for his opponent, Andrew Bard, he's wearing the tighter shorts. But as you also said, off mic there, you can also differentiate by the color of the wrist tape. Red tape for Andrew Bard, who just throws Hoffer down and starts teeing off. Yeah, Bard looking very, very strong. He's coming out hard, looking to be a very good fight. Both guys slugging away. Now knees delivered from Andrew Bard. Nice job blocking from Hoffer, but man, oh man, Bard is just teeing off. Hoffer's in a little bit of trouble, doing a good job of uh, you know weathering the storm, but uh, hard to say how much damage is being done right now. Here he comes back, throwing knees of his own. Definitely still in the fight. That left jab connects as that leg kick caught by Bard, who has been by far the more aggressive fighter as he has stalked Hoffer around the ring. Yeah, I mean, uh, Hoffer's looking already, show, showing signs of wear. Here we go through the ropes. As the takedown goes through the ropes, our referee, Len Coivisto, will separate them. Yeah, Hoffer's face already showing signs of the fight. He's got a little bit of redness on the left side of his face. He took a lot of punches early on in the round. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if, uh, if Andrew can keep that, that pace for the whole three, five minutes. So I was going to ask you, that pace is tough to carry on as Hoffer is able to land an inside leg kick, but takedown secured right in front of us by Bard as he pops that head out as the guillotine looked to be tried for by the man on the bottom, Mike Hoffer, but in top position in the half guard yeah, is Bard's Andrew Bard. Bard's in a good position. He's in full guard now. Uh, he's trying to put some pressure, pressure down with his forearm, maybe starting to make some space, looking for punches. But Hoffer underneath, really active, looking for submissions. Not giving him a lot of chances. Looks like he's going for a triangle choke right now. He's got the left leg over top. And let's see if he can get that. Again, punching his way out of it right now is the man on top, Andrew Bard. Now that is not tight because the arm is yet to be locked in. We'll see if that can be moved a little tighter. He needs to bring the left leg a little closer to the head to really lock that in. Yeah, I mean Hopper's got his legs, you know, he's got he's got his legs kind of in the right place, but he needs a slightly better angle. Now he's gonna switch to the arm lock. And it seems he's lost it all together, but he's still staying active from the bottom. Not sitting still, even for a second. And Bard careful not to get that arm caught once again because his yeah, arm was again. almost in a dangerous spot. Back into the triangle, another triangle attempt. This one seems to be a little bit tighter. And this and one pulled down. He's pulling down on, on his head. Can he finish it off as Mike Hoffer has a triangle choke locked in from the bottom. As early as it is in, in, in a fight, you know, we're still in the first round. We're already seeing sweat on these guys. Uh, that could become a factor as well. It may make it easier for, for Andrew to slip out of this triangle choke. You know, he's been stuck in it for a little while, but doesn't show signs of wanting to give up or tap out. He's still throwing punches. Can, as he does, he's able to get that arm away. Can Bard survive or can Hoffer finish this off? As he's got that triangle locked in. Yeah, and even though, you know, Hoffer seems to be having trouble finishing the choke, He's uh, not taking a lot of damage from his back. You know, obviously not in the best position. Threatening with a, with a triangle choke, definitely. But uh, not taking too many punches to the face. That thing is still locked as Bard trying to persevere here. And that thing is now locked tight. Right now, Bard just trying to get the hands off his head to keep pulling it down. It's not as tight as it could be. You can still see that little sliver of air. Yeah, Bard's definitely still, still fighting it. You know, we got just under a minute and a half left. The other thing to keep in mind is the longer this triangle choke stays on, you know, the more the more fatigue uh, Hoffer's going to be feeling in his legs when he stands back up. This obviously scoring with the judges, a submission attempt for this long. Can he finish it off, though? Yeah, he's got just about a minute left now. He's got to finish it up. If he, if, you know, he's got a great position right now. If he can finish now, it would be the time to do it. Um, you know, Bard's still throwing punches, still fighting it from on top. He's going to try and slam out of it. That thing is just going to get tighter now. Yeah, he took, you know, he picked him up with six, eight inches, slammed him there. Obviously, looks good to the judges. He's still throwing punches. Really hard to say who's winning right now at this moment. They're both, they're both pretty active. Now he's got the top triangle trying to finish off. 
Uh, Hopper's in a great position now. And oh. finally, Bard's able to slip out. So Bard survives. And, and now Hopper's keeping some pressure on him, keeping him on the ropes. How tired is Hopper after trying to keep that submission locked for as long as he could? You know, I think these guys are both going to be feeling the effects at the end of this round. we got about 20 seconds left. But, you know, obviously, if, if they're both well prepared, in great shape, a good fighter who's in great shape with a full minute in between can recover very, very well. Into the final 10 seconds of the first round, and what a great first round it's been. Yeah, Hopper finishes in a top position, which is going to be really good for him, you know. Uh, the judges usually are going to remember the, what they saw last. You know, that's going to be the clearest in their minds. It's a really good position for Hoffer to finish. So Mike Hoffer worked for that submission for almost two minutes eventually, and finally Bard's able to find his way out. But yeah, both these guys are going to take a seat on the pot because they are uh, definitely going to be feeling the effects of that first round. Yeah, really great first round. Really good action from the start to finish. Obviously, you know, uh, Andrew Bard coming out with strong strikes early in the round. Uh, Hopper, you know, weathered the storm and managed to get it to the ground. Uh, got a submission attempt, held it for a long, long time, and finished on top. Really hard to score that round. In talking to Andrew before the fight, Jose Aldo, John Jones, Dominic Cruz are the three guys that he looks up to most in this sport because of how they're able to work a five-round fight, a three-round fight. Their cardio, their conditioning is the reason he points to those three guys as his fight idols. The cardio and conditioning are so incredibly important in a five in a five minute round. It's a lot of work. It's a long time to be working that hard. You have to be an incredibly conditioned athlete just to survive a round. There's Hoffer with that triangle choke locked as we get set for round two of our first professional bout. And immediately gets to that full mount. Let's see what he can do. Again, the full mixed martial arts rules are in effect. So strikes to the head of a downed opponent are allowed here. We'll see what Andrew Bard's able to do is he's really tight on his opponent right now. Andrew Bard appears to be going for some sort of a neck crank, or now he seems to have let go. Uh, but he's staying very tight. He's not standing up to throw punches. He's staying tight, trying to hold position. Uh, now they're scrambling again a little bit. You know, Bard seems to be on top, trying to get his hooks in, trying to take take Hoffer's back. Hoffer's kind of staying, staying composed, trying to work out of the bad bad position. And a good job of getting one hook in for Andrew Bard, who has the back of Hoffer. And you can yep. hear his corner tell him to get that leg in, get that leg in. He's got the left leg in, and now trying to flatten him out and see if he can lock in a rear naked choke. He's got one hook in. Let's see if he can finish this off. Yeah, Bard gets the second hook in now. He's in a good position on his back, though not quite as maneuverable when you've got the weight of both, both fighters on your back. Is this when you lock in the body triangle? You know, body triangles, you know, it, it's an option uh, for a guy with longer legs. Obviously, you know, it, it, be, it comes down to personal preference. You know, a body triangle is a great way to hold somebody, but it, it adjusts your position a little bit, makes it harder to finish a choke, which he seems to be going for right now. It's hard that to tell from this angle. underneath, yeah. It's hard to tell if that chin is underneath or, or not. Still fighting. That's Andrew Bard who has a choke in on Mike Hoffer. Let's see if he can finish it off here. Yeah, Hoffer, uh, he's not giving up that easily. He's working on that second arm, not letting him finish it off, not letting him have it, making it difficult for him. Here we are, still, he, they're still both working hard. And, and a Hoffer's, lot of time here. Yeah, lots of time on the, on the clock. Hoffer's not in the best position, but staying very composed. He knows he's in trouble, but I think he knows that if he panics, he's going to be in even more. The key here, if he can, is to roll into it for Hoffer to see if he can find himself then in top position in the guard of Barden. Now yeah. that's what he's trying to do, roll to his left there. He's going to want to turn off to the side and roll into the guard. And there he did it. He's on top. And now finds himself in the guard of Andrew Bard. In fact, he's got a leg out to the half guard. Let's see what he can do now. For the first time this round, he finds himself in a good position, and now he mounts him. Now he's, his tables have turned. He's in full mount with two and a half minutes left. Holding him out very differently now. You know, Bard was holding him very tight, holding him down. He's sitting straight up and throwing punches, doing a little bit more damage. Right hand connects, and a left elbow is able to connect for Mike Hoffer on top as he pushes the face of his opponent down. That right hand connects. Another right connects. Every one of these punches is going to do a little bit of damage. It's going gonna, it's gonna to decrease Bard's ability to think and react properly. You know, it's a very, very tough and difficult position to get out of. Two minutes to go, so plenty of time to Hoffer for Hoffer to finish off as he's raining down right hands, still protecting, and that's it, that's it! Mike Hoffer has won our first 
professional bout of the evening as he's able to TKO his opponent, Andrew Bard. A great show from Mike Hopper. Hopper did a great job. He weathered the early storm. He had a couple of really tough spots. He worked his way out of them. He was mounted, uh, you know, Bard had his back and he worked through it, stayed calm, got himself in a good position. He took advantage of it and finished the fight. So here is the finish of the fight with some right hands landing. He's able to land a couple of them straight on. Yeah, he's landing good, solid shots over and over again. Andrew's not really doing a whole lot to defend himself. You know, he's got his arms up, but he's not covering his head. The referee's got no choice. He's going to have to stop it. Right call by referee Len Coivisto gives us a stoppage in the second round as Andrew Bard picks up the victory, rather uh, Mike Hoffer picks up the victory, his third, and continues his perfect professional mixed martial arts record at 3-0 and just 20 years old is Mike Hoffer fighting out of BDB martial arts. Very impressive fight, you know, uh, showing a lot of heart, staying in there, you know, overcoming adversity, coming back and winning. And here, of course, we saw the difference between the amateur and the pro rules. Uh, the game changes quite a bit when you can start throwing punches on the ground. And right, right here is the finish of the fight, trying to protect his bard, but just not doing enough to intelligently defend. And there is Len Coivisto calling an end to the fight and a right call to finish off this fight. Obviously, you know, fighter safety is number one, and uh, rather than let someone get injured or hurt very badly in the fight, you have to be stopped. So, we just wait for the official decision to be rendered here. We have four more professional fights to go here at Axe Combat 1 Execution. It's been a lot of fun to this point. And now we hear from our ring announcer, Jolene Lebsack, who will deliver our official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the official results are in. The winner by referee stoppage due to unanswered blows at three minutes and 13 seconds in the second round in the black corner. Give it up for Mike Hoffer.